Hello, this is Brighton TV and this is the match preview for Brighton vs Aston Villa in the League Cup. And last time we played in the League Cup vs Bristol Rovers, it gave two first team debuts to Aaron Connolly and Stephen Alzate and both of them have gone really far since then and it was only a few weeks ago Aaron Connolly who's been subbed on multiple times during matches and Stephen Alzate who made his debut against Newcastle on the weekend and what a debut it was man of the match and I think Potter will give more youth a chance in this match judging as the amount of injuries we have as a whole to our squad. Um, players like Glenn Murray and Neil Malpai are out. Malpai is expected back by the Chelsea game. And Murray isn't going to be risked for this game. And I, I would have wanted him to, Murray, to play with Connolly in a game like this. But since he's injured, it looks like he'll be Connolly up top, I think. And other players who I think could play, but unfortunately are injured, are players like Liam Balogun and Ali Reza Jahanbach. I think them two would definitely thrive in a game like this, where they're not played so often, but they might get the chance to try and impress Potter. But since they're both injured, it isn't good either. And I and I think a player like um, Galotto, who is coming back from an injury. If this was one or two weeks later, I think he could have played this match. But since it's a bit too early for him, Potter's not going to risk him. So it's going to be so um, he's not going to play for this match. And as I said, I think this will be a very youthful Brighton team. And who will I play? I think David Button, he will play. He's a very good goalkeeper and he just needs to be fresh in case Ryan gets an injury or something like that. So it will definitely be David Button in goal. And I think Shane Duffy should be the um, main centre-back for this. Judging as Dunk Webster and Dan Byrne are just, they're just playing really well and in the way we're playing, Duffy just doesn't see that as well. He's not as comfortable on the ball. So I think Duffy will play in a game like this. And I think Bong will play to the left-hand side of him. Because for his um, country, I saw that Bong plays on the left centre-back. So I think Bong will play in that position for this match. Like he did against Bristol Rovers a few weeks ago. And on the right-hand side of defence, I think it will be Hayden Roberts. He's played really well for the under-23, so I wouldn't be surprised if him or O'Hara, his other centre-back partner for the under-23s, was to play in this type of game. And in the left wing-back, I think it should be Cochran, um, a really good left wing-back for the uh, left-back for the under-23, so I think he should play. And on the right-back, uh, right wing-back position, I think it should be Archie Davies, he's really good and I just think as we don't have enough squad depth right now due to so many injuries, I think they, they will play because we definitely have a very important game against Chelsea on the weekend. And in the midfield, I think Bissouma, who got subbed on versus Newcastle, I think he'll go and start this game just so then he gets more comfortable to first team football. And I think it will be Tudor Baluta, who had a really good under 21s Euros in the summer. And he was on the bench for the last couple of games. So I think he will get his chance. And I think it will be, that will be a 3 4 and then a three, another front three, like how the main team, like how the team in the league play. And I think it will be Connolly, as I said, to lead the line. And I think Avon Moy, we need a few first team players in there. And as, as I said, Button, Bissouma, Duffy, and Moy, I think, are the main players who should play in this type of match. Because Moy, I just think, he's a really good player, but he didn't play that well versus Newcastle. So I think Moy should play in this match. And I, I, I think Alzate should play in this match because then he'll get his confidence up. But I wouldn't be surprised if a player like Taylor Richards or someone else was to play instead of him. Because Alzate, who got man of the match versus Newcastle, might, um, Potter might want him to play the full 90 versus Chelsea, so I wouldn't be surprised if Alzate wasn't going to play this match and it will instead be um, Taylor Richards. And of course, Villa, who played versus Arsenal on the weekend, lost 3-2. Uh, they played really well and were unlucky not to win. And I think they also will play a weakened side because 
just judging as for us, us two clubs and the majority of the Premier League don't take this competi uh, com cup competition seriously enough until the latter stages. So they'll play a weakened side as well. So I wouldn't expect them to have that many first team players either. And my score predictions for this match, I think it will be 2-0 Brighton. I think Connolly will score again. I think he's just a really good player. And he almost scored versus Newcastle. Had, uh, had Shaw been a couple of, just misjudged his um, clearance, then Connolly would have scored. It would have been an amazing goal. But he was really unlucky. It was an amazing clearance in the end and just unlucky for us. And I think Aaron Moy, who scores first goal for Brighton, he plays really well. So I think it'll be Moy and Connolly to score in a 2-0 win for Brighton. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brighton TV and follow us on Instagram.